This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now in a Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive, and we are going to go up Doyang Kang. Uh, you guys probably don't know what the heck this uh, place is, but uh, it's going to be the hill climb stress test. So yes, this is the rear wheel drive, the, the 60 kilowatt hour LFP battery, and uh, <clears throat> let's just get ready here. <coughs> have to reset everything with a trip and also going to okay so I'm also going to reset another trip here so we'll see like do oh, actually yeah we well, okay this we, we can reset this one once we're on top of the mountain maybe okay let's go back to this one wait for it to set all the filters okay let's go so yes um, like I mentioned it's rapid drive and then how good is it and then is it gonna overheat? Well, probably not. It's a Tesla. It has good performance, but I still want to see what happens with everything uh, during this trip. So we have okay. Let me try to remember here. We have seventy-eight percent when we start. Okay, we reset everything, so uh, everything will be recorded here. You see on the bottom. So I guess what uh, could be interesting to see is uh, the temperature and stuff. Here is a state of temperature. And then we have uh, battery here, battery temperature here, and then also the inlets, which is the coolant going into those units, whether it's the battery or the motor. And then what else? Uh, yeah, it will also be interesting to see how many kilowatt hour and all that stuff we uh, regen on the way down. Plus also, I guess, uh, what the consumption will be up and down again. Let me see. Oh, yeah, motorcycles in Thailand, they are always kind of slow. So you just have to hammer them. Uh, let me just, yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of cold outside. You see, what is it? Yeah, 10 degrees. That's, oh, we'll be wondering, yeah, but what kind of stress test is this really? Well, uh, ambient temperature doesn't really matter that much. Uh, when I drove this car from Bangkok to, um, to Chiang Mai, and further up here, uh, it was 30 degrees, 32 degrees Celsius, and uh, I can tell you that the motor was not uh, running very hot at all. I think it was hovering around 50 degrees Celsius only. That is uh, remarkably low, I guess, compared to the Aura Good Cut I tested recently, which reached 170 degrees Celsius on the same mountain climb. Yeah, so uh, big, big difference, right? Uh, let me see. So we should, okay, I should always mention that uh, I drive empty because it's kind of impractical to bring a bunch of people with us in this car. They're going to be uh, car sick. Well, that car is like, Ooh, my five horsepower is bringing me up the hill. Wow, there's a nice uh, sunrise here. Okay, let me see. So you just have to, okay, we just, yeah, he tucks the, the left side, which is good. So we can just hammer past it. But okay, so as always, um, I will compensate by running an empty car by driving faster. So if you guys know physics, you know that, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's good enough compensation. So we will stress the, the drivetrain. And for the record, when we do, <laughs> you know, when uh, those racing race drivers, they go the, what was it, Pikes Peak or something. Uh, when they go mountain runs, they, they also drive alone. They don't even have seat, passenger seat, and they just drip down the cold car. But this one, okay, for, for more real world test, yeah, we, we should have weight in here. But I, I'm pretty sure that, oh, who let the dogs out? Whoa, 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 whoa. But I'm pretty sure that uh, if you bring your family with you here, you will not drive as fast as I do. They, they're gonna complain. I mean, I know that if I brought wifey with me, she would complain big time if I was driving like this. So, uh, also what is relevant here is that we have a Hong Kong Ventus. Uh, what is it called? What, Hong Kong, what was his long name? Evo 1 or something, Ventus 3 or something. Yeah, Hong Kong tires. I've tasted them before in Norway. Uh, I guess this car comes with those tires if it's the 18 inch. But then if you go for, uh, I'm not sure what the nine, no, no, sorry, this is a 19 inch, yeah, the smallest uh, rims. So if you go, oh, that car, yeah, I, I saw that car when I was setting up. I guess we can hammer it soon. But when, 
when you go for performance or I guess with the 20, 21 inch wheels, then you hopefully get the uh, Pirelli P0 or uh, uh, maybe, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I don't think they use, uh, I don't think Tesla uses um, uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4 anymore, actually Port 4S. But uh, Pilot Sport 4S and uh, Pirelli P0, they are nice and sticky tires. This one here, uh, Hancock, not the best. Uh, and the braking test, it didn't perform that great versus um, yeah the other uh, ones. Hmm, let me see if I can do a little uh, Bangkok style hammering uh, because this, yeah, you see. Okay, now you get an idea how slow other cars are actually driving. So uh, yeah, I forgot to mention here you see also the speed, which is also relevant during this test. So, but I will try to hammer uh, past this guy. Yeah, I don't mind about uh, all that continuous line or whatever. It's just everything here is barely legal. Yeah, in Thailand. Yeah, like here. Now, nah, okay. Now nah, I'm. Um, nah, okay. Let me just wait. Uh, there is a curve coming. I can always take it. I mean, the curve. Well, I can wait until it's straight. But do I want to wait? Yeah, I can. I'm gonna wait. You see, you see, it's kind of steep here. Yeah. So let's see. I'm just gonna do this. Listen to the sound, by the way. It may, the motor makes when it uh, spins up. Oh, it sounds like a freaking airplane. <laughs> oh, I mean, if some people, yeah, you know, some people who are stuck in the past, uh, the fossil heads, they're like, ah, but the real car needs the real engine sound. And the ex exhaust, um, I mean, the exhaust is technically just the car farting, right? It's emissions. It's just a byproduct of, oh, slipper. Byproduct of uh, the, the chemical reaction. Well, I think it's a chemical reaction, but the reaction when you convert uh, dinosaur juice into motion, where well, heat actually, and then motion. But, but what is wrong with electric motor sound? Well, I, I don't know if it's the motor or the or the the inverter. Well, I'm driving too slow here. She, let's go. Oh, that sound, man! That sound of the future. Huh? Huh? Okay, the one thing you'll notice, by the way, is that the car reports 252 kilowatt as uh, maximum discharge, but maybe the motor is limited to only 200, uh, 280, around 220 kilowatt is usually what you get here. And that equivalents to around 300 horsepower. And then what about the torque numbers? Let me see, uh, where is the torque number? That's kilowatt. That's torque. Here's torque. Okay, let me see how, how much torque do we have. 390 newton meter torque. Oh, that, that is legit. Oh yeah, that is uh, good. But so, uh, I have taken the Tesla Model 3 long range up the hills here before. And that one just flew up the hills as expected. But then what about this one? Rear wheel drive, only one motor. It has to work harder. And then, let me just pump the shaft a little bit. Oh. I have to pump the shaft with the left hand now in Thailand. Okay, there we go. So how is it gonna perform then? Rear wheel drive, is that good? What about traction? Well, we're gonna find out. Let's go up the hills here. See, now we start some of the hairpin turns, okay? Usually what happens if we go this? Yeah, you see, you see? Now I floor it and the car's traction control uh, limits the power because it doesn't have good enough traction. So this is the difference between rear wheel drive and all wheel drive. Oh, something is moving around a little bit. But I have to say that uh, the Tesla here does a pretty good job of climbing up the hills and finding traction, even on these bumpy and twisty roads. So versus uh, front wheel drive, then of course rear wheel drive wins hands down, but then all wheel drive trumps everything, right? <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm just having fun right now, flying up the hills. and. Yeah, maybe one day I should bring a fossil car here to see how that one performs. How hot will the engine be? We're probably talking about several, several hundred degrees Celsius. Oh yeah, see, see, up the hill here, okay, not the best performance. If, if I was racing, if I was just trying to set a lap time, then I would be losing tens of seconds in each corner because I don't have maximum traction out of the corner. So maybe one, strategy is to not go too fast and then just get the oh yeah wow it's getting quite steep now 
Uh, this is quite. I, I I measured this before. It's 30 degrees. No, no, it's not 30. 30 percent slope. That, that is very steep. We we just passed. That was that was the steepest part, I believe. I could, oh she. Well, we have to hammer that van. There is a, a, I think there's an overtaking uh, possibility, so be, but uh, fortunately these vans, they're driving dog slow, so it, it should be quite easy to overtake them. Well, I wasn't expecting that much traffic now in the morning. This is why I go so early in the morning, because I want to avoid... Wow, look, look, look okay, the, now, you got, you, now you guys get an idea of how slow some of the fossil cars are driving. <laughs> I mean, they're driving so slow that I could just... Okay, I, I just need a tiny bit of stretch and then I can hammer. I mean, it might look dangerous, but just keep in mind that, yeah, that all the cars here, they're driving dog slow. And then when it comes to the continuous line, I, I actually haven't figured out how it works in Thailand because most people, they actually hammer on the continuous line. line. And then other people also expect you to hammer on the continuous line. But there are some, pla uh, uh, some places they have the double continuous line. Oh, you see here? Oh, you see here? I floor it, nothing happens. You can hear that kind of... That's the drivetrain trying to get traction. Well, how is the temperature here? 64 degrees Celsius in the motor. That's it? Oh, okay. So that's slightly more than when we were just hammering on the motorway because then I guess you have more air passing through the radiator. And that's why it was so cold versus now. So this is actually a very good stress test. And I guess this will also trigger some limitations on the fossil cars because they also have to pass the air through the radiator to in order to cool down uh, the motor or the, or the engine actually, the fossil engine. How is the battery doing? 33 degrees Celsius, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, just go, just flies up the hill here. I, I, I should just shut up so you guys can hear the motor running here. Let, let me do a little driving here, Samari, how about that? Okay, I'm gonna shut up now, I know it's hard. Wow, this car is freaking amazing. Well, okay, it no, it's not as snappy and and just <coughs> not as snappy as the all-wheel drive, but still really, really good. Oh, okay, what are we talking about here? 63 degrees Celsius, that's it, man. 62 is already dropping. 35 degrees Celsius on the top here. Wow, okay, very impressive. Now, let's see, we're gonna turn around. We're gonna do a little flip mode here. I need to then, well, let me just do this. I need to reset trip, this one, okay, reset trip, we're going to see now that we are on the top, we look now, once we are on the bottom, how much we region and all that, but this is more like a stress test, so it's not an eco run, so we'll see how it goes, oh, there is a van coming, okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go down here, so now we're going to do the region testing and see how that goes, because uh, this is, I guess this is the disadvantage of rear-wheel drive because we are now going steep downhill and we have to regen on the rear wheel. Here is where the front-wheel drive has an advantage because you want to actually regen or brake or regen on the front wheel because you're going down. It's all about the weight shifting and all that stuff, right? Uh, so how will it handle? Now I have the, I have the setting on, uh, regen setting on the hole, which is the, the one with the highest regen. The one pedal driving, something stuff is moving around here a little bit, okay. But also, let's try to go fairly fast downhill. Uh, stress everything. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, you see, you see exactly, exactly. I mean, fossil cars they don't have the the nimbleness uh, when they want to overtake, so it's more like a gamble. But they, I guess, they are prepared to uh, break, and then you also have to prepare to break when you go downhill and you meet stuff like that. 
but uh, very well done uh, braking uh, it, there was some pra traction control going on you heard that and then it uh, it uh, brake uh, fairly safe and everything went fine <coughs> so let's see now but then okay see now when I region oh when I region I let off I get 64 kilowatt of region and I actually have to activate uh, physical brakes because I simply don't have enough region power I guess this is a disadvantage of uh, oh look at that oh I have to use physical brakes um, I'm not sure whether it's the if it's the bar battery that limits this or if it's the motor I suspect it's the motor that just or just limitation in in the rear wheel drive and the front the rear wheel drive I mean well yeah in the rear wheel drive and uh, mm, single motor and the fact that it's rear wheel drive yeah that's what I meant uh, because at 63% state of charge and fairly warm battery we should be able to region 65 uh, kilowatt or whatever the car is reporting but it might drop whoa, whoa, whoa. actually wait wait huh, what the heck I just noticed now this one has dropped is it correct though can we only region 36 kilowatt yes yes it, it is correct oh whoa wait a minute but okay 64 percent state of charge is kind of high ish but why do we why don't we have 85 kilowatt uh region limit huh that is a big surprise i didn't know this you say oh whoa, whoa, yeah i feel now that we actually don't have that much region power available um yeah i i, I can't explain why really I mean, or it could be because we have region a lot lately and it's like a quote uh, quota <coughs> <I'm sorry. coughs> um, which is that if you have input a lot of uh, inputs a lot into the battery it will eventually reach some kind of limit quota and then it, it will yeah reduce the the maximum region I've seen this before even in the in the long long range bigger battery and uh, when I, I also remember the first time I ever experienced this I actually have to use um, friction brakes now uh, first thing I first time I experienced this was in a model 3 long range wait what was it what was it the, the early river drive I don't remember yeah but it was a model 3 in US on the highway 5 I think it was between um, LA and San Francisco and you know when you go over that mountain uh, grapevine yeah all the Americans know grapevine oh look at that yeah um, then there is, it's grapevine is a quite long and steep descent and then towards the end of the descent or towards the bottom then suddenly I noticed that I had region limit yeah and I was like huh that was the first time I experienced it and then maybe I don't remember the battery state of the charge over there but it could be I think it was maybe uh, only 20-30% uh, below 50% at least but in general when you have lower state of charge then you have more or higher region limit so you see the problem now is that okay we have 36 kilowatt region limit if we would have only 20% state of charge and the same battery temperature then we will have a higher possibility to region so actually right now I have to use friction brakes a lot because I'm going kind of fast-ish okay I can go slower but I just want to kind of go fast-ish right and this is uh, not optimal because we are losing lots of energy now by going downhill and braking but this is the the real deal I guess because if I did this with a all-wheel drive then I believe I could have region more or um, yeah, 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 another thing I, I should point out is that with a bigger battery, with this one is uh, roughly 60 kilowatt hour, I'm around about there. Whoa, you see, now I'm just letting off the pedal now and it's reaching the 35 kilowatt. Oh, yeah. Um, but with a bigger battery, then in general, the numbers are higher. So uh, even if I was at 65% with the bigger, the 82 kilowatt hour or 80, yeah, roughly 82 kilowatt hour NMC battery, then um, I might have. 50 kilowatt region I'm not sure uh, what the numbers are 
all that. But okay, so um, now we're just gonna fly down the hills again and see how it goes. Okay, I, I will try to recuperate if I can. I will try to avoid touching the brakes too much. But I think here in Tesla, you don't have blending brakes. Let me see, so 33 kilowatts. Well, I mean, the limit is already there. Yeah, yeah that, that's a problem right now. Um, and also uh, in Tesla, when you have it on the highest region setting, then it actually regions uh, at the highest possible power. Whereas some other cars, when you have it in B mode, uh, you don't get maximum region unless you gently tap on the brake pedal. That's the blending brakes. But in Tesla, uh, actually, I think even if you put the region setting on um, on um, low, yeah, let's say if region, max region is 85 kilowatt, right? But if you put it on low region, which you can't do in the Model 3 and Model Y, uh, it's on, on the classic ones, I believe you can put the, uh, but even if you have 85 kilowatt region limit, if you put it on low, you get roughly 30 kilowatt something. And if you then push the brake pedal, you don't activate higher region. Uh, you will still be limited to 30 kilowatt or whatever the, the limit is. Uh, and then it will just use um, friction brakes. I think that's how it was. But for most other cars, where you have, for example, a D mode, D mode usually gives you lower region, but then if you push the brake, then you get more region. Yeah. So that's the difference between Tesla and the rest of the car industry. But okay, now I feel like I have way less region and the whole one pedal driving feel is not there anymore. Whoa, why is it so busy today? What the heck, man? I hope, because I have to run this recording in Thai and I hope I don't get stuck behind too many fossils when on like, this is the first run. Next time I will probably do the first run as the Thai run because the Thai run is actually more important than the English run. I get way more views in the Thai channel versus the English channel or yeah. But okay, one other thing I will see is that, yeah, this is one I was looking for. Uh, it, it will go up and down, you see that um, now suddenly we have 40 kilowatt uh, region limit. So I'm not sure if it's just the battery uh, catching its breath so you can get more region or if it's the fact that the state of charge drops. But I actually believe that it's the battery is limiting it. It's the, you know that, that burst, that quota I was talking about because it goes up fairly quick, which is an indication that this is uh, based on some kind of yeah quota buffer amount uh, burst uh, rate uh, but if it goes up slowly then that's the result of a state of charge dropping or temperature rising yeah I forgot to mention that one temperature also is the part of the equation here it's um, uh, when we talk about power output pa maximum power output or maximum region in the car uh, we have battery state of charge and we have uh, battery temperature as those two variables and I guess also the, that burst uh, uh, yeah, thing. It's almost like when you have, when you are photographing, uh, in photography you have how to, how to control exposure. You can either, uh, well there you have several variables, you have uh, aperture size or opening you have um, ISO and you have uh, shutter speed three variables controlling the uh, output and then by by uh, changing some of them you can then increase or decrease exposure uh, but here you have two variables well actually or three depending how you see it but at least two main variables that you can uh, modify by getting more. So basically what I'm saying is that if you want more region, you can lower the state of charge or you can raise the temperature. But there are some limits, of course, within those, uh, uh, yeah. But that, let's say now, oh, well, yeah, wow we, wow, we are limited to 32 kilowatt region again, huh, interesting. You know, if you wanna see a second run, you can go to the Thai channel and then see how it goes then, yeah. Because I'm going to do one more run, but at lower state of charge this time. And then it, it could be different, quite different, actually. Uh, how... Uh, wait, what the heck was that sound? 
What the heck? Uh, I have some stuff maybe in the trunk or something that moves around a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, so I I'm trying to drive fairly fast the up and down uh, with every car I drive. Let's try to drive as equal as possible, except for that for the other cars I couldn't just fly up the hills. But okay, let's see now. Now that we are back on the flatlands, then the, the region here should go up. I didn't actually pay attention to the battery temperature and everything. Uh, yeah, okay, well, huh? yeah, the, ba <laughs> the battery actually cooled down now, 32 degrees. It was 35, wasn't it, at the top of the mountain? So it actually cooled down all the way down. And I think actually what happened was that, uh, you know, we have octovalve. Uh, it probably scavenged the heat from the battery to heat up the cabin because it, it's still 10 degrees Celsius outside and I have it nice and warm. I set the cabin temperature to 20.5 degrees Celsius. So it actually heated up. Uh, but the, the cabin, we're going to set, uh, yeah, put on some ND filter now because the sun is up already. And uh, yeah, the run is uh, done. I'm going to do a little flip mode and then we, we will look at some stats. Let me see. I always turn around here. This is the start and ending point. Wait, 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 wait. I have, I have to. Um, okay, I, I'm gonna go a little bit. Okay, there, this is, I think this is a kind of roundabout. No, wait, is it a roundabout? It looks like a roundabout. Okay, let's do this. Zip. Yeah, we just we just do whatever uh, Bangkok style driving. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I can actually start stop here and then. Okay, but let's see now. So yeah, we started with how much was it again? Sixty? No, I don't remember eighty. I don't remember how many percent we started with. But whoa, consumption was kind of high. Region. What? Huh? Wait. Huh? No, 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 no. We, we did not reach 120 kilowatt hour. Okay, there's something wrong here. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay. I, no, 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 no. Wait. Read the top. Let me go back to the trip here. This is the one from the top of the hill, down here. What, how, we, that, how did we do it? There, 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 there. Okay. We reached 5.6 kilowatt hour. Okay, okay. That's good. Um, okay, I'm not sure what all these other numbers mean. But yeah, this is the distance from the top. Okay. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, let me check some other stats here. Okay, I need to set the filters. State of temperature. This one is cooling down again. Yeah, max region is actually low now. Wow. Oh, okay, but when are we going to get the region power back again? Well, I guess we'll see in the next episode in a Thai version. <laughs> but okay, anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.